Hello everyone, quick guide on how to use the anti-entropy thermonullifier. So this thing right here consumes 10 grams of hydrogen per second to delete 80 kilodeus on the surrounding environment, assuming it is surrounded or saturated in hydrogen gas. Not actually saturated, but surrounded by hydrogen gas. So in order to use this to cool down your oxygen production, which is the, the most likely cause to use it. So once you have your electrolyzer set up, uh, this is a, just the resulting um, things. So heat oxygen, I mean, very hot oxygen at 95 degrees and uh, hydrogen, the temperature is whatever. You don't really care about the temperature of it because it will be used to buffer this room as well to be consumed. So, and, for be and for being consumed, the temperature doesn't matter because it will be deleted anyway. So in order to use this, you will need to uh, make a water lock around the resp the wanted area with insulated tiles, vacuum this out. Once it's vacuumed out, uh, you will need the water lock, but you can close it as soon as everything in here is built. So what you need inside here are temperature shift plates, uh, insulated pipes and radiant pipes, a temperature a thermal sensor, automation wires and mechanized airlocks. Uh, and that's it. The temperature, shift, the temperature shift plates are not exactly required, but it's advised so it will keep the temperature more stable inside the room because it will it, this thing will co cool down the area starting from the bottom so down here it will be colder and here it will be warmer since i'm using temperature shift plates the difference is not that much it's 21.8 and down here it's 21.5 so it's only 0.3 of a difference but without them it's gonna be uh, a wider gap so once you have this setup uh you want to set up the thermal sensor to the temperature you want to cool down your gas to and you just connect it directly to the um, mechanized airlock so once it reaches the temperature you want it will open the airlock and it will turn this off I'm gonna actually apply it right here so if I... it's currently at 22 degrees uh, by the way I'm passing the odd gas on top and making it come out it's getting cooled down to 21.4 it's coming at uh well it's weird because it's already written pipe but here it should be 94 degrees and here it's at 21 i'm actually gonna vacuum this out so it's coming at 21.2 from 95 degrees so it should be able to cool down one kilo of oxygen uh, and I'm gonna just raise this temperature to 25 so it opens you can see what happens and as soon as it reaches I mean 25 is 36 it's gonna take some time so I'm gonna drop it down to 24 yeah so this is what happens it will only work while the temperature is not has not been reached uh, more tips so conductivity in this game you will need to know the thermal conductivity of the objects. So inside here I'm using aluminum and aluminum for the temperature shift points as well. If you don't have aluminum, use wolframite, which because it's usually found on the ice biome and is also has a pretty good thermal conductivity. Not as good as aluminum, but it works. If you don't have that many metals, use granite. It's one of the... I mean, for the temperature shift points, because for the pipes you cannot. Granite is one of the minerals that has the most uh, specific, no, not specific, thermal conductivity. Uh, and or if you have copper, you can also use copper. But yeah, it's not as good as those do. Uh, other tips. So, this will not delete your hydrogen in case here. So I have one kilo of... Uh, where is the thermal uh, ventilation? So I have one kilo of hydrogen gas here ready to get inside in case this hydrogen gets deleted. So closing and opening the door will not actually delete the hydrogen because I've been running this for some time and it did not kill any of it. Kill it. I've, been, uh, I've run it with this thing right here. So just to open and close the door to see if any gas is deleted. But no, it just moves up. So the pressure is gonna go up and down, according to the door being open or not. 
Because you don't have any oxygen. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you, need, if you have some doubts about it, or you have some questions related to this game, that I can help about it, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Peace.